Hi there, I've been asked to um, just turn this a bit. I've been asked to explain how my gutter um, garden works in slightly better detail. So I'll give you a quick overview. Basically, what it is is if I've got my gutter like that, inside is the end over there. Inside, let me make this so it's a hole. Okay, imagine there's a hole. Inside I have a pipe that runs all the way down to the end. In on this pipe I've got loads of holes. I've got a bit of grates or something to keep my grow medium inside this area over here. So my grow medium is all inside here. This pipe runs all the way to the end, and then the water fills up. It'll fill up. The water will run to the end. It'll moisten all the grow medium. And then when it drains, it will then drain out. This, light, this side here is slightly elevated, um, but not so much that the water won't be able to run to the end of the pipe. I have two holes. I have a hole in the bottom and a hole in the top. And then um, I, de I decide in the top one where my two water levels are going to be. So, so those are my two water levels. Then to get the water in, what I have is I have a bottle. And I cut a slot into the bottom of the bottle. That slot dictates where my lower, well, I mean where my upper water level is. So that there is there. So basically when it's full of water and I tip it over, air bubbles will come in and it'll only drain, there's the air bubbles going in, it'll only drain to that point and it'll stop. So it won't all run out and overflow, it'll, uh, it'll maintain that top water level. And then what I do is, to be able to get the water out of here, on the end here I've got two nails knocked into the plank which is holding all of this lot here. This pipe then runs up to my bottom water level which is over there and then runs down. So, I put the bottle in here, the water fills up to the top level, as, the, as it's filling up the water runs up the pipe and then when it reaches that point it overflows, it runs down and then it siphons. And the bottle level will go down, 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 down. And then once the water levels, once this is drained, this whole thing will drain. So it'll flood and it'll drain completely because this water will run down because it'll siphon out. Then my ne next gutter along here, same thing. This will then come into the top. Bottom one will come out, go around and go down to the next gutter, which is over there. There's my grow medium in here. The, this one will have a pipe inside here as well. It'll run down to the end. And then I'll have gauze or something. I use a stainless steel mesh um, to stop the grow medium going into the pipe as well as um, washing away. And then what I have is over the end of the pipe inside here, I use, I was using sponge, but now what I use is the green abrasive part of the sponge. And that acts as a filter to stop any grow medium and leaves and things from then blocking this pipe. And that works quite well. And then this, a, you can have as many of these. Basically what this dictates is the amount of water that is absorbed into your grow medium. That is dictated by the size of the bottle. Because if one of these trays don't fill up enough so that they can overflow through this little pipe and siphon out, it will then fill up and it will just stay full of water and uh, the roots will rot. So you need to make sure that this bottle is big enough so it will be able to fill and flood, fill and flood, fill and flood all the way down. And then the bottom one will be able to still be able to fill and flood before it then runs out um, into another bottle at the bottom. Um, and then what I do is, so when I go to work in the morning, all I do is I take the bottom bottle, I top it up, I flip it over put it in the top and I go to work. When I come home in the afternoon, what's happened is that bottle's eventually drained into this one. It's flooded, drained, flooded, drained, flooded, drained, all the way down into the bottom bottle. And when I come in the afternoon, I have a top up, I top that one up, I take the top bottle, put it in the bottom, take the bottom, 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 bottom bottle, put it in the top, and bosh, there it's watered again. So I can water twice a day, and it takes me a couple of uh, seconds literally to be able to do that so the key thing here is that slot there needs to be above wherever this pipe is 
so that it'll fill but then this pipe will still be able to overflow what I mean by overflow the whole gutter doesn't overflow this pipe fills up and it's inside the pipe it overflows inside the pipe and runs down and then this one will fill up to whatever level that is and as the level in the tray and the trough goes up the water level in the pipe will go up and it'll overflow inside there and that'll then run down and that's where that pipe is will then dictate your water level inside your gutter and you can do that all the way down um, there you go thanks hopefully it's um, of some help and uh, <laughs> give it a go it's quite easy thanks cheers bye